hello, this is Candy from eyes2jesus.blogspot.com bringing you my September planner tour. If uh, you watched that random Saturday vlog that I did a week or two ago, then you may have a guess which planner I am in, and I am in the same planner that uh, I just briefly showed you a preview of in that vlog. I am taking a break from uh, ring-bound planners. I really like, something I like about spiral bound planners is that you can completely fold them over. So I feel like I can get away with a bigger planner which gives me more room to plan because I can fold it over. And I just feel like they're not as bulky because I don't have all these thick leather and pockets and padding in the covers like I do on ring bound planners which can just make them even thicker. And uh, so, I keep staring at my happy planner. Each time, each month, uh, when I'm setting up, you know, which planner am I going to use this month? Am I going to stay in the same planner as the previous month or am I going to move it to something else? I keep staring at the happy planner, so I just went ahead and gave in. I am having so much fun with this. So you can see I got the um, Arc Staples aluminum gold discs worth every penny. Um, they are impressive. Okay, and then the snap-on covers that I chose for my Happy Planner, I got this from Michaels, but I also saw it the other day at Hobby Lobby. I got the Hello Life one. It's similar to the Happy Life one, except I think it's a different shade of pink. I really love how this pink and gold work together and how it looks nice with my gold discs. And on the Hello Life one, where it says Happy Planner on the back, it's just kind of pressed or embossed in. It's not in gold. And I like that so the black cover is more plain that way and I prefer that because I'm not a fan of logos and advertisements and whatnot. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is the planner I am in. I am still in uh, my backpack purse. So if you saw my, uh, my recent purse tour, uh, I'm still in that purse. And uh, this fits in it no problem. I mean, it goes in, I just pop it in like that and it's easy to get in and out. Okay, so giving a tour of this beauty. All right. Now there are no uh, pockets or pen loops on these Happy Planner snapping covers. I like that because that it, it helps it lay flat. Uh, and it's important that the covers lay flat. I need to mention one thing. Uh, some problems with snapping covers that people have is when they close their planner, it doesn't want to close, or it kind of wants to sit open some. Here's how you fix that. One, you might need to get bigger discs. I can do inch and a quarter discs without the snap-on covers, and if I just have the laminated covers. But with the snap-on covers, I need the inch and a half room. So, uh, yeah, you might need to go up a quarter of an inch or more uh, to do the snap-on covers. Two, um, I haven't had to do this with Martha Stewart or ARC, but I've had to do this with um, both of my uh, Happy Planner snap-on covers. Um, I've had to trim the uh, channel a bit bigger to make them turn more smoothly on the discs, okay? And uh, so, you know, you have the hole and then you have the little channel. Uh, I just trimmed the channels slightly wider on all my Happy Planner snap-on covers. And uh, just, I don't know, it just, it makes barely a difference, but a, a discernible enough uh, difference for me that uh, I would recommend it. Okay, and uh, three, when you are in your planner, when you go to close it with the snap-on covers, close the planner part first and then close your cover. And it doesn't close like a regular book. Pull it out and then close. And then it'll also lay flat as long as your discs are big enough. So when you close, if you just close like regular, it's going to want to stick up, okay? But if you pull it out away from the discs while you close, it lays flat. And it's not that complicated. It's not really an inconvenience. Um, I'm pretty used to doing it already, so there we go. All right, so now going inside. So we got just a plain inside cover. And then I have my laminated welcome page. Uh, current family picture and a journaling card on some gorgeous scrapbook paper that I got from Walmart. Walmart, you know, don't discount Walmart's paper crafting aisle. They just, they have some great stuff. All right, and then the other side of my welcome page is my dashboard. And those two Project Life cards are laminated in there. These are two of my favorite. Uh, the sticky notes are Walmart, Target, Dollar Spot, 
maybe um, a bookstore, some stationery set, I don't remember, <laughs> but those are the sticky notes. All right, and then the Project Life Cards on it. See, you can fold it around. The Project Life Cards on it say, part of cultivating a good life is recognizing what needs to change in your life and then changing it. And the other one says, part of cultivating a good life is approaching that big or daunting task in much smaller steps, one thing at a time, one foot in front of the other. And then the facing page here with this big... Um, magnetic bookmark on it is just my grocery list and I just keep several sheets of lined filler paper there uh, where I just, when I run out or low on something I write it down or like uh, one of the kids came to me the other day and let me know they needed more deodorant so I wrote it down my husband came to me yesterday and said by the way we're almost out of lemon juice um, so he likes lemon water so I wrote it down and then uh, once a week, uh, I will sit down and make my grocery list. I'll make a menu plan. I'll write down what foods I need to cook you know, for the week. I will look at the things I've written down throughout the week of stuff that we ran low or out of or that uh, family members have requested, and I put together a grocery list. So, But yeah, so uh, I just keep these pages together with a magnetic bookmark. All right, and then I have five main dividers, okay? So, or five main sections, I should say, and they are labeled home, school, budget, information, and planning. And they are labeled with uh, Carpe Diem label stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love the Carpe Diem label stickers for labeling uh, dividers. I have them now labeled in almost all my different size planners. All right, and uh, the five dividers I have in here that divide up my five sections are from one of the divider packs that you can get from Happy Planner. All right, so uh, it comes with like 10 I think dividers so I just picked the ones that I liked and popped them in so the first divider I have labeled home it says work hard and dream big and that says a happy planner divider I didn't make it all right and then the first page is a happy planner daily page and it's just uh, I wrote down the main stuff of my master to-do list my top three priorities for each day priority number one God Priority number two, family. Priority number three, homemaking. And then uh, on the section by the hour, I just wrote down my master schedule. All right, and uh, that way I can reuse this page. It doesn't need to be thrown away. When uh, there's enough things being altered on it, I can just stick a new page there and write in the new stuff. On the back of it, I just took some washi tape, ripped some strips off, and just washed it on some journaling cards. Uh, but it normally says brain dump back there. Okay, and then the next page in my homemaking section are my daily chores divided up for each day of the week. All right, and then we've got my children's chores in the next page of my children's table chores. I got my cleaning, uh, deep cleaning and organization projects. And then the page facing that is my emergency quick clean. And if you're interested in the emergency quick clean, uh, you can print it off uh, from my emergency quick clean article on my website at eyes2jesus.blogspot.com. Just look in the left-hand sidebar. All right, and then the next page is a laminated page of my master grocery list. I've had this for years. It's kind of out of date, but it still works, so I haven't really gotten around to updating it. It's not that high of a priority. The next page, I have uh, my breakfast and lunch menu for the week. And then the page after that is my supper menu for the week. And then the page after that is a list of uh, supper ideas, and this just helps me when I'm making uh, our weekly menus. And then the page after that, I have a little flag off to the side because that marks my recipes section, and the rest of my homemaking section are recipes. All right, so moving past recipes, we get to my next divider, which is labeled school. This is my homeschooling section. Here's the divider I'm using for that. I love polka dots. All right, and then the first two pages, this page and the other side of it, is uh, the current homeschool curriculum chart for the 2017-2018 homeschool year. So here's the rest of that curriculum chart. And then this is our uh, homeschool schedule. And then these two pages are current reading lists for the children. And then behind that is uh, their current copy work assignments. And then after that, I just have some uh, filler paper with some notes on it. 
So just a few sheets of filler paper, and that completes the homeschool section. Uh, if you homeschool or you're new to homeschool or you're uh, considering homeschooling, um, I do have a homeschool series. It's uh, linked in the left-hand sidebar of my blog that you could take a look at, and it might help uh, give you some ideas. All right. Next section is called budget, and so, of course, I used a gold foil divider for that. And that paper clip is there because I have a lot of my budget paper clipped clothes for this video so I don't accidentally show any financial paperwork. But um, after the divider, right after it, I have a clear full size pocket that's top loading uh, that I had made with uh, vellum paper and my laminator and then I snipped it at the top so it's closed on all three edges but it opens at the top. And I pop my bills in there that are waiting to be paid, and then I just close it with a paper clip on top. So, and I got some bills in there waiting to be paid. And then I have this magnetic bookmark right here, uh, which is keeping my budget pages closed, so I don't accidentally show them to you, um, and my budget guide. So, after the top loading pocket, I have my budget guide. Um, for my budget guide, um, I've mentioned it off and on. Uh, yeah, I mentioned it in almost every planner video, so you can look at my previous videos to see how I do my budgeting, uh, or you can click on the Planner University link at the top of my blog and go to the budget section, and I explain it there uh, more thoroughly. So yeah, I just budget on filler paper. So the rest of that budget section is filler paper. Okay, next divider is information. And this is my notes section. Okay, this is my notebook. Uh, the first part in here are these half sheet note pages that you can get for Happy Planner. And I have some notes on there for each of my kids, for projects I'm working on with them. And then I have some filler paper, which is tracking a project that I am working on. And then the next page is labeled Table of Contents. All right, the pages after this section are all numbered, and these are notes that I just keep and reference and keep regularly in my planners, and they're numbered and have them listed in my Table of Contents. You know, things like gift ideas, what to uh, get the kids and my husband for their birthdays. Um, I have a list of family information. I keep my perpetual calendar in here. Just things like that. Okay, and then I have two little top tabs here um, that I just made with, uh, with some flags. I just stuck one flag on one side of the page and another flag on the other side of the page and made a top tab. So the first top tab I go to... Um, which I cannot show you, is my directory. So it's directions on how to get to certain places. And then after that is my uh, address, phone and address book. And then the next top tab just goes to my brain dump. So, and my brain dump was recently cleaned out, so I only have a few pages of chicken scratch there currently. And then the rest of the section is just filler paper. So if I need more filler paper for the grocery lists at the front or for homeschool or for the budget, then I can grab it from here. Or if I'm going to add a new numbered page, you know, in my table of contents section, I just grab it from here, number the page, and put on the info and add it to my table of contents page. All right, so going to the next divider, planning. And this divider says, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. The quote's okay. I really just got it because um, I didn't really have much option in the divider pack, but I like, I like the... Uh, the color and how it came out aesthetically I think it's very pretty and so yeah this as it says is my planning section so on the back of that divider uh, I have uh, these post-it sticky notes list pads that are sticky and those are just really handy especially if I have an extremely busy day where I need more planning room than what I got then I can just come to the back of my planning divider I can grab one of these big post-it list pages that are sticky at the top and I can just stick it on the page and keep on writing. Uh, you'll see a few of these in a few minutes in my calendar section where I had to anonymize some things. Okay, and then again I have uh, these half list uh, pages from Happy Planner. This is a running to-do list. And then I just have extra lists for if I need to write any other running to-do lists and if I need to move them anywhere else in the planner. And then after that I have uh, several sheets. This is a daily sheet that you saw in my homemaking section. Here's what they look like blank. So yeah, I just have several blank sheets. So if I have like a really, really, really busy day, um, then I can just take one of those sheets out, stick it, 
you know, where I am at the week at my bookmark and I can do a daily sheet for the day. So uh, I love having a stock of those in my planner. Okay, and then after that we come to the official front title page of the Happy Planner. I usually don't bother writing in my name, I just leave it blank. Alright, and then after that we've got the 2017-2018 calendar, years at a glance. Alright, and then we get into uh, my months and weeks and I have uh, 12 months in here. I have from January 2017 till the end of December 2017. So let's start by, I'll just show you the dividers. Oh, um, you see I have the July dashboard next to the January divider. I don't care. I, I never ever use a monthly dashboard. They're just blank. I forget they exist. I ignore them. It just doesn't work with the way my brain works. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so here is the January divider. I love the Happy Planner dividers. And this is one of my very favorite dividers, February. I'm probably going to repurpose that into a dashboard or something uh, next year, maybe. All right, and then March. Here's April. May. June. July is pretty. So I switched to a different planner starting with the July one, so if you know the different planners, and you probably recognize that. However, the August divider I found was boring, but that's okay. And then September, the month I'm currently in, and this divider is pretty. Not necessarily my style, but it's pretty, and it's different. All right, and then my month at a glance, or my uh, month on two pages, can't see much. I got it mostly anonymized, but uh, it's pretty filled up. All right, and... Uh, See. And then here was uh, finishing off August 28th through 30th. I am a functional planner, so you see there's no decorations there. And this is, of course, this is the first half of the week. It's the week that I'm in right now. As I'm filming this, it is, what is today? It's uh, September 3rd. Okay, and I have my laminated master to-do list, of course, that gets moved week to week along with my page finder. Uh, and then... Something new is, uh, I just got this a few days ago, I got a new page finder uh, that fits into the disc bound system. It's a Martha Stewart page finder and it is adorable. I mean, take a look at this. See the pretty flowers? It's blank on the other side, so I just stuck stickers and stuff on the other side. But I love this. And you can get uh, different designs, different colors, and that's the one I liked. And it was like four dollars ish or something at staples in the martha stewart section and it came with like five page finders of different colors some were solid colors i had one that was metallic and then one that had a design but uh i like florals so uh, of course i went for this one all right and then uh, this brings me to the other half of the week that i'm currently in and you might notice i started using some stickers as of uh yesterday because uh that staples when I was getting that beautiful um, Martha Stewart page finder um, I also went to uh, Hobby Lobby I went to Hobby Lobby I had a coupon and they were having a sale and uh, on their sale their sticker books are all on sale <clears throat> now normally I don't do stickers or sticker books it has to be functional but uh, they had a functional sticker book that actually works for me that I use that I would use about each day and that was actually their fitness pack and it works very well functionally for me, I think. So I tried it out for Saturday and Sunday, and I like it. Um, so I can, there's labels you can use for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or meal plan stickers. Uh, they have hydration stickers. Uh, they have stickers for different workouts and cardio. Uh, and, of course, they have really good inspirational stickers that I like because uh, if you know me, you know I love to work out. By the way, I mastered the mill a few days ago. Um, I maxed out on my Nordic Track treadmill and ran the hardest trail, and I liked it, and I did it twice, not in the same day. So uh, I'm going to keep probably running the hardest trail about uh, four or five times a week. And uh, when I get tired of that, then I'll go ahead and just start setting it up on random trails on the hardest level. But uh, I love my Nordic Track a lot. Alright, so anyways, 
Uh, I got next week's spread set up, and that sounds weird to say because I don't usually do weekly spreads. I am not a decorative or pretty planner. I'm a functional planner, but this actually was functional and pretty. So um, I set up uh, the fitness stickers from the fitness pack, and here's how next week is set up. Only a few things in pen written so far. And I plan day by day. That's why there's not much in pen written there. Uh, this is Sunday, so tonight before I go to sleep, I'll be filling out the Monday column. Monday night before I go to sleep, I'll be filling out Tuesday, etc. So that's why there's very little pen there. So isn't that great? I, I, I like it a lot. <laughs> it's really cool. So yeah, I mean, I track my uh, food, I track my water intake. Um, so it's neat that I can put those things down. And uh, at the bottom here, I alternate stickers, cardio, workout, cardio, workout, etc. I work out six days a week. The workout stickers are for when I'm doing weights. The cardio is obviously for when I'm doing cardio. But um, yeah. Anyways, here's what a blank spread looks like in my planner. Alright, so continuing on, let's look at the rest of the dividers. So, October. October divider. I like polka dots, but I would prefer if there was some foil or floral going on there. November is absolutely gorgeous. I like the light teal. I like the florals. I like the foiling. So, I love Novembers. December, that's my least favorite divider. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's just boring looking to me. So, all right. And then after all of that, I have a note paper here on the back, and on the other side of this uh, note paper, I have it labeled at the top: "Future Planning 2018 Plus." And I already have several things written on it now, with the year being over halfway over of uh, stuff that I'll be moving uh, and putting onto my 2018 calendars in the end of December when I set up my 2018 planner. And then the very back thing is another pocket uh, type of page. It's the same like the one that I made in the budget section that I couldn't really show you that held my bills. Same thing. It's a couple sheets of laminate. It's a couple sheets of vellum paper from Walmart. Uh, laminated. It's cut to the size for the Happy Planner. Of course, laminated and the top snipped off so it's now a top loading pocket that's somewhat clear but um, like opaque. Okay, so uh, inside that pocket, I just got uh, my um, Carpe Diem uh, label stickers that I labeled the dividers with. I got some uh, functional planning stickers, and then it's held closed with a paper clip. All right, and then also stuck into that paper clip, I have some Avery dots, hall reinforcement stickers, and Avery labels. Now, this is not a ring bound planner, right? So, what am I doing with hall reinforcement stickers? which are for repairing holes in ring-bound planners when pages rip out. Because hole reinforcement stickers work if you have a hole rip out on your disc-bound system too. Uh, what you would do is if you have a hole rip out, you just stick a hole reinforcement sticker over where it should be, and then you just snip or rip a little channel into it, and it's reinforced. So hole reinforcement stickers for ring-bound planners, they work pretty darn good for disc bound planners as well. All right, and also adhered to uh, this back pocket, I have a Happy Planner pen loop. And this is a Bic For Her felt tip pen in the color purple that I got from the dollar store. Um, I, I really like the Bic For Her felt tip pens. In fact, I like them better than uh, the Sharpies, better than the Stedlers. Uh, there's a few other brands I've tried. I like them better than Optimus. Um, I like them better than Le Pen. So, yeah, and it's a dollar store pen, too. So, all right, the back side of this pocket, I just have extra labels, tabs, and flags. And the labels, I have some of these written on. These are reoccurring things that I just stick on my master page or on my schedule or whatnot when they reoccur. So I don't have to waste labels or keep writing them. Then we just have the inside of the back cover. So uh, this is the planner that I am currently using for the month of September. I uh, can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm back in Happy Planner. Happy Planner Classic with the snap-on uh, covers and the aluminum discs really seems to be working for me right now. So, have a blessed day.